Hey folks, it has been a minute, um, so I thought I'd do a little garden update and talk about the mid-autumn. Uh, here in Vancouver, we've had just about everything, including the beautiful fall colors, the chestnuts hanging on trees, the golden brown leaves that were left after the long summer of drought. Uh, well, maybe not quite long summer, because it took a while to get going. And then, of course, the rains quickly came. And then no sooner did we have the rain than we got some early snow. So things have been a little bit all over the place weather-wise here on the West Coast. Um, Garden-wise, things have been pretty good. It was a slow start to the season. Um, my radishes do not look this good anymore because we've had some frost. Um, I think I got them in the ground too late. So there wasn't a lot of substantial vegetable there. Um, and then the green onions that you're about to see are also sort of hanging on for dear life. It just got cold really, really quickly. And um, <laughs> that's the way it goes, right? I think that's something that if you're growing your own food, you are starting to, to realize more and more and, and deal with is just that as weather patterns are more unpredictable and weather more severe, uh, certain things are going to do better than others. And it, it takes a little bit of experimenting to know exactly what's going to work well. These are the tomatoes. Uh, I think this is kind of like mid-October. Um, everything is now off the plants. The plants have since been cut fully back. We ended up with a really nice crop of tomatoes this year. The carrots are still out there and they look amazingly healthy and bushy. So uh, I pulled one out just so you could have a look at what that looked like mid-October. Not too substantial, but for growing it in a bucket and getting it in the ground late, not so bad. Um, yeah, lots of great tomatoes. These were pink bumblebee, the variety, I think, um, and they did really well. And then my paprik peppers, they're my real success story this season. Um, I'm really happy about them, and I'll show more of them in a moment. Um, all the herbs, the dill and everything is still out there and going. I'm really trying to, even with containers, have some sense of uh, something growing that I can eat and harvest pretty much 12 months of the year. I think I'm at about nine to 10 months of the year I've got something to harvest. And these are just the boxes outside uh, showing the damage of our neighborhood squirrel, Squirrely Dan, who has come to live and dig through every single container. More on him later. Um, but that's been the major challenge of the fall really is that as squirrels are planting peanuts and other things they find, they dig up our garden and our pots. These are the peppers. Um, as I said, these are kind of the thing that I'm, I'm happiest with this season. They grew really, really well, obviously growing them on a patio um, with the, the heat that we had worked well. I don't know a ton about harvesting them, um, but overall I'm really pleased with just how many I ended up with. And I'm going to do a separate video about how I made some paprika with these paprika peppers. Everything else in the garden, uh, this again is all mostly died back. The scented geraniums looking pretty sad these days, again, with the, the cold weather that came in. And you can see the, the squirrel damage around these plants as well. Um, just as a, a quick tip, castor oil, if you mix it with some water and spray it around your plants, seems to have some effect. I'm not going to say it changed everything, um, but I'll also do a separate video about the, the saga of Squirrely Dan and uh, how I'm working against and with him in some cases. And these are some uh, radishes, some more radishes. I've, got, I've still got some beets out there as well um, and some chard, these peppers, they're all done now as well. So most of the gardening that I've been doing has just been cleaning things up. And I think uh, if I have any advice really is just that this is the time of year to be doing it, is to uh, take a look at the things that are left over, um, start to make some room, cut things back, uh, gather leaves to put in your garden, and otherwise just start shutting things down for the season, starting to make plans for what you want to grow next season. Um, you know, and even when you have wild weather and extreme weather, I think it's important to think about what did well in my area this season, and, you know, am I do I need to adjust anything for next season, but really just it's also a good time to observe and just see what's the current state of my garden, what are the things that it might need, um, and trying to resist the urge to do too much in some cases. It's a good time to uh, make some paprika and 
you know, preserve things that you've harvested throughout the year and enjoy the fruits of your labor, quite literally. <laughs>